Well, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. I'm the Optical Angel PT, and for today, what I have in here it is The Walking Dead, the season finale. So, this is supposed to be the last time we'll be seeing The Walking Dead um, from the Telltale, which is unfortunate. I just had played season one a long time ago, and I actually enjoyed the game. And also, this is supposedly the last time that Telltale is going to use its internal engine, the Telltale 2. And uh, I remember to play the season 1 of this first game and I cried at the end, just like many people. Okay, I'm a, a little bit sensitive, call me gay, whatever you want. But uh, yeah, it was a little bit intense. But uh, there was a thing that I complained a lot about the game, it's the interaction. There wasn't too much interactions and quick time events, it was pretty much generic, okay? When Life is Strange came out, uh, coming up from the Square Enix and Dot Nod, for me it was a big step up uh, comparing to... The Walking Dead regarding game. So for the settings I will be using 720p, the textures will be maxed out because we have VRAM for that. Uh, render quality will be set to low. You can only choose between low and high and this affects a lot of the performance, okay? It just draws you uh, better shadows, it has a better lightning effect and uh, more shadow distance, but it really affects a lot the performance. Ambient Occlusion, Depths of Field and Bokeh will be pretty much at medium low, and you will have anti-aliasing. Ambient Occlusion, Depths of Field and Bokeh doesn't seem that much demanding in this game, contrary to many other games. So let's start the demo, but first let me show you the results. Okay, so I have tested a multitude of settings, and one of the things that you can notice is that all the settings from low to minimum to medium Pretty much all of them performs more or less the same, even the maximum settings with the, with the render quality set to low performs pretty much the same with small differences between all of, all of them. But as soon as you turn on render quality to high, all the performance just goes, I don't know, it just disappears entirely. For me, 720p median settings, it was what provided for me a good balance between graphical and um, between graphics pretty much and performance. It spent most of its time above 30 frames per second, okay? And when it doesn't, uh, it just it was above 25. For this game, I could even I could even say that if you play the entire game at 20 frames per second, it would be enough. But as soon as you turn on the render quality, the performance that you can expect is around 10 frames per second to 50. I don't think that is playable. And this game has a little bit of hard to control characters. So this is one of the things that did change a lot comparing to Season 1. I understand that this game had received uh, other seasons like Season 2. And I think other Season 2, I, I don't remember too well. But I just have played the Season 1, never played other season before. And I remember that the first season it was pretty much uh, more of a point and quick gameplay, okay? So I was very surprised when I started to play this, uh, this, uh, the season final. I was very surprised to see that you control Clementine like a third person game with a camera over the shoulder. For me, it was a big, big surprise. Quick time events also evolved a lot, so it seems different. It has an illusion that you are fighting zombies. So I think it's really good. Also, the graphics fares pretty well. Even with this uh, render quality at low, the shadows are actually pretty good. Uh, it seems that the graphics really evolved a lot comparing to Season 1. I understand that uh, Telltale did revamp a lot their engine when they released the Batman. Okay, but unfortunately, the Batman for me, when I did try out the game, it was very, very bad optimized. I was expecting something similar on this game. I was expecting this game to underperform in all my PCs. And surprise, surprise, the game actually performs really well and the graphics are actually pretty good. So it was a big surprise for me. Okay, so where can you get this game? You can get this game from uh, Humble Bundle for uh, 24 euros. Also, Steam is uh, practicing the same price. Also, help me help out the channel. So, if you buy games from Humble Bundle, um, that is a new um, bundle that they have that you pay around um, 10 euros, more on the last 10, 11 euros, and you can receive Rise of the Tomb Raider and more games at the end of the month. That will be a surprise. So 11 euros for Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's not a bad price, comparing to the fact that you are going to receive more games at the end of the month. Or if you don't want Rise of the Tomb Raider, you can pay 11 euros or a round of that and get Sniper Elite 4, Tales of Berseria and Staxel. Again, 
these ones uh, are the first ones that you will receive and again at the end of the month you should receive a nice game and probably some more indies too so i think the price is good so if you want to support the channel just uh, go to the link on the description and subscribe to Humble Monthly. So it's uh, an awesome thing. Any doubt about it, just leave on the comment section below. Okay, so I guess that's all that I want to talk about. The Walking Dead, the final season. And I'm going to let you enjoy a little bit of the rest of the game. This is the demo, okay? So if you want to play a little bit what I'm playing in here, just go to Steam, download the demo. And you are free to go. And you can see that the performance that I have will be similar to what you have. Or probably even better, who knows. But this is pretty much what you can expect. Okay, so that's it guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. And I hope you keep enjoying the rest of it. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Alright. Let's find some food. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. AJ, stay back. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun, you get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Oh, I want to try. After we clear this place. Hmm, interesting. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always find, find a, way a way out. out. That's right. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Front door is the only way out. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise.
too small to crawl through. Well, for me. See anything? Looks like some cans. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. They ate well for their last meal. Beans! Homemade. Might be more where this came from. Easy, would it? Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. We got this opens the lock. <gasps> That's not happening. And the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? I'll get the key. thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. Are you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean. Just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Always... Always aim for the head. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. <sighs> Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. Hey, watch the swears. I meant shoot. Look. 
Huh. Something under here. Floor door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged! <laughs> AJ! Let's get to the car. 